Tunic says restaurant orders haven't Am I doing this right? Yes, I've got it. I'm I'm muting everybody for, until five fifty eight. Oh, perfect. Yep. Nice I'm on. Um. Can everybody hear me? Does anybody hear me? Yes, we have everybody muted right before we start. Oh, okay. Okay, we uh, are we live now. So, uh, on the line, you want to wait for her? Still waiting for somebody, Dan? We're gonna wait a couple minutes for Maria. She's there. Oh, she's here. Oh, Maria's on. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see her on the uh, on the thing. Okay, well, we can get started. Um, good evening and welcome to our third teleboard meeting on this beautiful hot evening. <clears throat> we hope you've all been able to be healthy and safe since our last meeting. And as a reminder, the public is able to view the meeting in real time. Facebook Live. So we greet all of you joining this evening and we are glad you're with us. Not hearing anything. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Yep, we can hear you. Okay, very good. So I'd like to now call the regular board meeting to order at uh, six o'clock. So I'll do a roll call. Jim Anderson. Present. Dr. Falvo Lang. She's muted, I think. Is Dr. Feldo laying on? She's there, but she's not talking, Dan. I can't hear her. Okay. Okay, we'll circle back. Roger Giants? Here. 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 Smith? Here. Cindy Sutter? Cindy Sutter. Am I muted too? I don't think I'm muted. I'm here. Okay, there you go. And we're here. And then, of course, I'm here, Dan Sutter. Is Maria Higgy on? Yes. Okay, very good. So we're all here for successful roll call. And uh, 
So now we'll move to in memoriam. Yeah, uh, Dr. Jessica. Yeah. We know why Dr. Jessica is muted. Oh, you're, you're not muted. Dr. Jessica, are you on the line? Should we recommend her going just back in? Even us coming back in. Hey, Dr. Jessica, try um, going out and then coming back in. So just leave the meeting and then uh, come back in the meeting. Doctor, yeah, we, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, Dr. Jessica's on, on with us. Yeah. <laughs> the meeting is called to order. We did roll call. We're all here. And uh, now we'll move to in memoriam. So extend our sincere condolences to the families of the following people who have passed away since our last meeting. We have Diane Michelle White. Diane, age 72, passed away on Thursday, the 23rd. She received services from the SSA and was retired. Uh, Randy R. White. Randy, age 63, passed away Saturday, April 24th. She received services from the SSA department. Jean Phillips. Lawrence, age 87, passed away Wednesday, April 29th. He received services from the SSA department and was retired from XXL. June L. McGuire, June age 59, passed away Saturday, May 2nd. She received services from the SSA department and went to creative learning workshop. Robert L. Nye, Bobby, Bobby age 66, passed away Saturday, May 9th. He received services from the SSA department. We could have a moment of silence in a minute. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> I now need a motion to approve the minutes from the regular board meeting held April 28th. Science moves. Take eight seconds. Any additions, revisions, or corrections? If none, all in favor of approval of, approval of the board meeting minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Extensions, the uh, minutes are approved. We at this time will entertain anyone for public speaks. I don't know if anybody's in, in the building there. Or... So, um, no one uh, for public speaks. We'll move on to the president's report. <clears throat> With that, uh, good evening again. I uh, want to use my president's report this evening to speak out to the people served, families, employees of the board and the provider community and congratulate all of you for the collective work that's being done by all to ensure that everyone's healthy and safe. We all understand these are uncertain times. We've been at this for over 10 weeks now. And on behalf of myself and colleagues, we want to thank everyone for the precautions you have, you have and are taking by social distancing, taking common sense actions of hand washing and not touching our faces, or at least not trying to. Our, and our actions have really paid off for the disability community thus far in Stark County. We encourage you all to keep up our efforts that have worked so effectively as the Ohio economy opens back up. Please know you're in our thoughts and we are concerned for, for your health and safety 
So continue the great work you and we are all doing, and thank you. This concludes the President's report. Superintendent's report? As far as the superintendent's report, I wish everyone just a great, great day, and hope uh, you all had a very meaningful uh, Memorial Day, and hopefully it was meaningful and relaxing. Uh, as far as my update today, I, I did want to just uh, kind of do some highlights of uh, really kind of April and May, and look at the number of uh, people we enrolled on home and community-based service waivers. I mean, that is uh, something that has continued because when a person has a current need, we go in and make sure we fill that and make sure we can wrap services around them with the services and supports a waiver offers. So in April, we had 11, but uh, this month, we nearly doubled that amount. So uh, we were able to roll, enroll between the two months just over uh, uh, 23 people on home and community-based service waivers. So that's a commitment we make, and it's a, a lifetime commitment. As long as that person is eligible for our services, they'll have that funding for the rest of their life. So uh, every, every time that someone uh, receives a waiver, it is really, uh, it's an important day uh, because it, it really indicates the commitment that we as a board are making to a person, to their family, um, and to the friends that surround them. So that is uh, one thing I really wanted to note and mention, though, is the, these things happen COVID or not. And that is really business as usual for us. Uh, and that's just gonna keep continuing on and on and on. Uh, we also, with our uh, individual service plans, we had a 92% on-time rate. Uh, and that's four percentage points better than last year at this time. So very, very excited about that, that uh, people are successfully working at home and telecommuting and doing the jobs that they were hired to do. Uh, we actually uh, conducted 395 televisits in early intervention, 118 uh, telephone visits, um, and which is amazing. That's almost two a day where we're meeting with families, we're talking them through the supports and how to best work with their child with a delay. So, uh, so our reach is continuing, even though it's virtual, uh, we're very, very excited that we've been able to reach that many families uh, and uh, expect that to continue June, July, August, whether in person or virtual, uh, that is what we do. We have been wrapping up the school year, our preschool and school age uh, teachers uh, really had to adapt to kind of the virtual learning uh, and try to equip really moms and dads and families with the tools that they could further assist uh, in the education of their sons and daughters. Uh, we are having nearly 56 graduates from our preschool program, which is a pretty significant number. And we have uh, eight graduates at Southgate, and uh, Myrna Blosser, the school-age principal, she's put together these wonderful at-home ceremonies. We've been able to have four thus far. We have, I think, two or three tomorrow, and then a couple more later in the week. And they've been very personal and uh, very much uh, being able to really highlight that student's gifts. So uh, that has been occurring uh, over the last two weeks and we'll finish up here by the end of this week with all the graduations. We have our transportation staff that is uh, going out and making uh, sure that school uh, plans were delivered to every student and uh, they did a big run today as well, making sure uh, year-end equipment and year-end supplies and progress reports get to families. So that's what's really been going on. In our provider community, we, have, we are starting to see our day service providers begin to reopen those that did not stay open. Uh, and the, the ability for them to stay open right now or reopen is 10 or less. 
and that includes staff. And uh, each provider has to perform an attestation that they are doing all the things that are best practice in regards to keeping people healthy and safe with masks and temperature checks and uh, um, that social distancing is uh, possible and will be implemented. So each provider has to do that. On our end, we have to authorize it within the individual service plan. So we've been working uh, with teams and families and people with disabilities uh, to make sure, number one, it's in the best interest of the person, two, that they can be safe and the provider's ready to go. So once we meet those three kind of indices, um, we have uh, nearly uh, 20 to 25 day providers that are serving people in some capacity right now. So. Uh, at, uh, so a huge, huge number that really occurred in the last uh, two to three weeks. Uh, financially, uh, we are we're still waiting to hear what the state budget's going to look like and it, its impact on us. We do know good news from the federal government uh, that our better federal Medicaid assistant percentage is going down and will stay down through September 30th. Uh, and it's about a 6.1% reduction. So that is a savings to us where uh, when we pay our, our waiver match, we pay 6% less, which um, then we can use for other things uh, if there are state budget cuts. So I'm sure Lee will be touching a little more on that. Well, that concludes the superintendent's report. Just wondered if there's any questions or concerns that you may have at this time. I was just gonna make a comment, Bill. I was reading about the uh, in-home uh, graduations and I thought that was really neat. And uh, I thought that was, uh, I, I don't know who came up with that idea, but it was, I think it was a great one. Yeah, and I really wanna credit uh, Myrna Blosser and the Southgate teachers and uh, they've really rallied around this, trying to make it personal. I mean, that that ceremony is uh, so important uh, to end and have that new beginning. And they've really been nice. We've been able to uh, connect with family members. And uh, we did see one graduate today. And mom and dad couldn't even tell them that we were coming because he would have been so excited. And that's all we would have talked about until we got there. So. They kind of kept it under wraps. So, uh, and uh, true to form, he was very excited. So, uh, so very, uh, it, it's been very nice and very personal. So, and we have a uh, Dr. Jessica. Her her daughter is graduating tomorrow. So we'll be seeing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And these will all be uploaded on the uh, website so we can uh, watch them personally? Uh, yes, uh, they, they are on our YouTube channel and um, I believe they're on our website as well. Thanks. Good. That's really no good. questions. That'll go ahead and conclude the superintendent's report this evening. All right. Thank you, Bill. That's a really good. Uh, Good actions everyone's taken. And uh, congratulations to your daughter, Dr. Jessica. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll move on to our uh, committee and department reports that uh, were in our board packets that were sent to us. Are there any additions or deletions that need to be made at this time? None will uh, move on that we uh, do not have any old business or new business. And at this time, we'll have a review of policy slated for first reading. With um, good evening. We have three policies um, for first reading. The first policy is 1.02 powers. Yeah. We lost your uh, audio. I don't know if you can hear us or not, but we can't hear you. I can't hear Constance. Okay, I can't hear Connie. We lost her audio. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take uh, care of the first readings then. Yeah. 
Uh, so we do have three policies. Uh, one is directly re related to board members, and that is um, powers, responsibilities, and prohibition of board members. Uh, these are all statutory um, responsibilities that are in the, both the Ohio Revised Code and the Ohio Administrative Code. And it really talks about the authority boards have in regards to the services provided for people with disabilities. Uh, there are no changes since uh, the last time this was reviewed. And the reason that is, is because it is, our policy really comes right out of the code language. Our next policy is 4.24, which is delays, early dismissals, and closure announcements. Uh, and the, this uh, policy really talks about those weather days, you know, when there is a calamity day. Uh, do we call a delay? Do we call an early dismissal? Or do we close the program in total? And so it talks about not only the authority to do so, but it also provides guidance on when those determinations are made. And that is ultimately does rest with the position of the superintendent. But just so you know, when those decisions are made, uh, we have a host of uh, staff that are out on the roads. Um, we're working with local law enforcement in, in certain situations. Uh, so it, it, I'm able to get the best possible guidance and recommendation from the staff that are on the ground. Uh, the final uh, policy for first review is jury duty, court appearance, subpoenas, search mm -hmm. warrants, investigations, mm -hmm. and other legal actions. Mm -hmm. And this policy uh, uh, just talks about um, the importance for what the staff has to notify us um, and that uh, the procedures they have to follow if they are uh, required by a subpoena or a search warrant or an investigation. Uh, the director of human resources and the superintendent is to be notified uh, immediately if there are court documents that need to be filled. Uh, what is Connie really has joined uh, the meeting. Effective is Brandon Haney in the information technology and our records department. Uh, they've been able to uh, develop a very sophisticated. Uh, tracking and coding of documents that are requested, and it's usually burned on a DVD and then sent out per uh, the court's uh, requirements. So that's what uh, the three policies for first reading, they're all up for review with no significant changes. Thank you, Bill. And I believe we have Connie back on, on, the, on the live stream again. Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. Um, we, uh, Bill did a nice job uh, pitching in. So now we move to resolution 052320, approving the board expenditures for April. I need a motion. Piggy moves. And discussion from Lee. Good evening, everyone. Just want to make sure I'm not on mute. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so for the month of April, uh, we received total local revenues of 477,000, state total revenues of 217,000, and total federal 804,000 for a total of 1.5 million. Looking at the year to date, the only thing that I will note um, from as compared to this time last year, we hadn't received our real estate distribution for the first half. However, we did just get that last week, so we'll see that next month. Looking down at our expenses, we had three payrolls during the month of 1.8 million, total benefits paid of 754,000, and total other expenses of about 4.8 million. We did pay our fourth quarter fiscal year, fiscal year 20 waiver match of 4.549 million. Looking down at our unencumbered cash that we started the year with of 49.39 million, we currently have about 6 million in 2020 purchase orders, 384,000 2019 purchase orders that were closed, 
And then our negative 12 and a half million of our net change in financial position gives us $31.24 million at the end of the month. And again, the differences in cash from this time last year is the real estate distribution. Looking at our budget versus actual, I'll just really pick, uh, go over the year to date. So you could see our year to date revenue of 6.71 million is about 13% of what we have expected to receive. Total expenses of 19.29 million, about 38% of we, what we've ex expected to spend. And then looking over on the far right over here, our total available budget balance is at the end of April is 25 and a half million, which is mostly for payroll. Um, and just our target for the month is about 33%. So a little behind on revenue because of real estate and a little head on expenses because of waiver match. All right, looking at our prior year encumbrance report of activity, you'll see the 736,000 we carried over from last year. We've paid 190,000, we've closed 385,000. So we still have about 161,000 remaining there. I'm hopeful to get those closed with the construction final payments within the next month or so. Looking at resolution 052320, um, you could see the three payrolls there that we had in April. There's really nothing to note out of any of those payrolls, nothing unusual other than some small stipends. And then of course the week by week totaling five and a half million. And you can see that third week there where we paid our waiver match. Uh, I'll just mention, um, since Bill brought up the uh, decrease in our FMAP, with what we're going to be seeing this summer from the FMAP decreasing from January to June, it's going to save us about $1.4 million. So when DODD takes their snapshot of our plan costs in June, um, we'll know more, but I expect that, that savings of $1.4 million to carry through to September. I think it'll be a substantial savings for us. Um, so we'll just see what happens on the back end within the next couple of years. But if there's no questions, requesting approval of resolution 52320. Okay, thank you. Um, all in favor of the resolution 052320, say aye. 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 Say nay. Any abstentions? With none, the uh, financials for March are approved. Moving to resolution 052420, I need a motion to approve the Special Olympics stipends. Guys, moves. Second? Alva Lang seconds. And discussion from Lee. Thank you. So resolution 52420 was created um, by recommendation from State Auditor Keith Faber. He held a webinar for all Ohio treasurers on April 29th. Um, it was recommended that any supplemental payments for sport activities be formally approved by the board so we could have some kind of audit trail or backup documentation for paying for these sports and paying for the stipends. Although a lot of the events over the summer, we don't know about the fall yet, have been canceled those that received and work for the Special Olympic stipend are still reaching out to those Special Olympic, Olympic athletes through social platforms and hard copy communications and still staying in touch with them. So, which is why this resolution is presented before you. If there are no questions, requesting approval of 52420. Okay, uh, all in favor of the resolution? Say aye. 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 say nay. Any abstentions? Resolution for Special Olympic stipends is approved. Now moving on to second reading of the board policies presented at the March board meeting. We'll go back to Khan. So, policy 2.16 administrative resolution of complaints was reviewed with no recommendations as was policy 4.14, layoff of management employees. Policy 4.19, use of social media, just some minor revisions, including adding providers to the first paragraph of the policy, and then adding Instagram to the second paragraph of the policy. And that was all. Okay, 
Thank you. That gives us resolution 052520, prevent approval of the board policy is presented for second reading. I need a motion to approve. Signs moves. Anderson will second. Okay. And uh, there's no further discussion. We can uh, vote on it. All in favor of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Any abstentions? With none, the uh, board policies are approved. Okay, just a reminder that our next board meeting will be to next or Tuesday, June 23rd at 6 p.m. And I now need a motion to adjourn. Sticky moves. Second. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Any abstentions? With none, we are adjourned at 627. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.